Okay, we're back for part three of Sharon Creech's Love That Dog. And we're going to actually start with um, the last poem that uh, is in the back here that was shared by Miss Stretchberry to her students. And that is Love That Boy by Walter Dean Myers. And again, this little asterisk here, if we look down here, it tells us that this is just the first stanza. So it's one stanza of a much longer poem. Uh, feel free to Google Love That Boy by Walter Dean Myers and you'll probably find the rest of it. Um, so Love That Boy by Walter Dean Myers. Love that boy like a rabbit loves to run. I said I love that boy like a rabbit loves to run. Love to call him in the morning. Love to call him. Hey there, son. Um, and we do have a nice simile here. We mentioned a simile earlier in one of the other parts of our book, but he's comparing the boy, uh, how much he loves the boy, to how much a rabbit loves to run. And he's using the word like. So um, that comparison using like is called a simile. So nice job, Walter Dean Myers. Um, so now we'll continue with part three, uh, which picks up on March 14. That was the best, best, best poem you read yesterday by Walter, Mr. Walter Dean Myers, and the best, best, best poem ever. I am sorry I took the book home without asking. I only got one spot on it. That's why the page is torn. I tried to get the spot out. I copied that best poem and hung it on my wall, on my bedroom wall, right over my bed where I can see it when I'm lying down. Maybe you could copy it too and hang it on the wall in our class where we can see it when we are sitting at our desks doing our stuff. I sure like that poem by Mr. Walter Dean Myers called Love That Boy because of two reasons. I liked it. One is because my dad calls me in the morning just like that. He calls, hey there, son. And also because when I had my yellow dog, I loved that dog and I would call him like this. I'd say, hey there, Sky. His name was Sky. March 22nd. My yellow dog followed me everywhere. Every which way I turned, he was there, wagging his tail and slobber coming out of his mouth when he was smiling at me. All the time, as if he was saying, thank you, thank you, thank you for choosing me, and jumping up on me, his shaggy, straggly paws on my chest, like he was trying to hug the insides right out of me. And when us kids were playing outside, kicking the ball, he'd chase after it and push it with his nose, push, 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 and getting slobber all over the ball, but no one cared, because he was such a funny dog, that dog Sky, that straggly, furry, smiling dog Sky. And I'd call him every morning, every evening. Hey there, Sky. March 27. Yes, you can type up what I wrote about my dog, Sky, but don't type up that other secret one I wrote. The one all folded up in the envelope with tape on it. That one uses too many of Mr. Walter Dean Myers' words. And maybe Mr. Walter Dean Myers would get mad about that. April 4. I was very glad to hear that Mr. Walter Dean Myers is not the sort of person who would get mad at a boy for using some of his words. And thank you for typing up my secret poem, the one that uses so many of Mr. Walter Dean Myers' words, and I like what you put at the top, inspired by Walter Dean Myers. That sounds good to my ears. Now no one will think I just copied because I couldn't think of my own words. They will know I was inspired by Mr. Walter Dean Myers. But don't put it on the board yet, okay? Is Mr. Walter Dean Myers a live person? And if he is, do you think he could co ever come to our city, to our school, to our class? And if he did, we should hide my poem with his words. Hide it real good, just in case he would get mad about that. April 9. No. No, 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 no. I can't do it. You should do it. You're a teacher. Hmm. What do you guys think that he, his teacher asked him to do? If you read back over this page, you may have something to make a pretty good prediction of what Miss Stretchberry asked Jack to do. April 12. I don't agree that Mr. Walter Dean Myers might like to hear from a boy who likes his poems. Were you right? Seems like she wants him to write to Mr. Walter Dean Myers. I think Mr. Walter Dean Myers would like to hear from a teacher who uses big words and knows how to spell and to type. 
April 17, Di Doc Dear Mr. Walter Dean Myers, You probably don't want to hear from me because I'm only a boy and not a teacher and I don't use big words and you probably won't read this or even if you do read it, you probably are way too busy to answer it, let alone do the thing I'm going to ask you. And I want you to know that's okay because our teacher says writers are very, 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 very busy trying to write their words. And the phone is ringing, and the fax is going, and the bills need paying, and sometimes they get sick. I hope you're not sick, Mr. Walter Dean Myers. Or their family gets sick, or their electricity goes off, or the car needs fixing, or they have to go to the grocery store, or do the laundry, or clean up messes. I don't know how you find the time to write your words if you have to do all that stuff, and maybe you should get a helper. So what I'm asking you is this. If you ever get time to leave your house, and if you ever feel like visiting a school where there might be some kids who like your poems, would you ever maybe think about maybe coming maybe to our school, which is a clean place and with mostly nice people in it? And I think our teacher, Miss Stretchberry, would maybe even make brownies for you because she sometimes makes them for us. I hope I haven't too much stopped you from doing your writing of words and fixing your car and getting groceries and all that stuff just to read this letter, which is probably taking you maybe 15 minutes. And in that time, you could have maybe written a whole new poem, or at least the start of one. And, I, and so I am sorry for taking up your time. And I understand if you can't come to our clean school and read some of your poems to us and let us see your face, which I bet is a friendly face. My name is Jack. Bye, Mr. Walter Dean Myers. And we're going to stop there. So Jack has written a letter to Mr. Walter Dean Myers and asked him to come to their school. Um, so what do you think? Do you think he'll answer the letter? Do you think he'll come to the school? And what does all this have to do with Jack's dog, Sky? We will find out.